If you are looking for an easy way to fine tune and train your large language model locally, then look no further than AutoTrain. AutoTrain is a free magical tool from Hugging Face which enables you to fine tune or train your large language models locally, privately on your own data sets freely without writing a single line of code and without knowing any machine learning mumbo jumbo. Auto train advanced or simply auto train is a no code solution that allows you to train machine learning models in just a few clicks. That's it. Also, you can either use your own data or you can use any data set from Hugging Face and you can use any model from Hugging Face to fine tune. I will be using Linux system for this installation, but you can do the same on Windows or Docker. But on Windows and Docker, you would need to do a lot of tinkering. For example, on Windows, it doesn't install natively. So you would need to install WSL or Windows of System for Linux, and that is quite cumbersome. So in my recommendation, if you are looking to install this auto train, then only use Linux and in Linux only use Ubuntu because otherwise i have tried it out on various other operating system the easiest and the most optimal operating system is ubuntu so let me take you to my ubuntu system and then i will start the installation so you can see that i am using ubuntu 22.04 i have one gpu card of 16 gb vram and my memory is 32 gb let me clear the screen now one prerequisite I would highly suggest to install is Anaconda or Conda. I already have it installed. If you don't know what Anaconda is, then please search my channel. I have few videos where I show you as how to install. So just simply do Conda info and it is showing that I have Conda 24.1.2 already installed. Let me clear my screen. Now let's begin the installation. First and foremost, let me create a Conda environment. So this is the advantage of Conda that I'm creating this auto train environment with Python distribution of 3.10. So Conda comes pre-packaged with these Python distributions and lot of other packages which, you, which we don't have to install separately. And then it keeps everything virtually separate. So it doesn't really interfere with your local system. So you can see that it is already done. Let's activate it, this environment and you can see that now it is in parenthesis auto train. And now let's install AutoTrain or AutoTrain Advanced. So pip install AutoTrain dash advanced and it is going to install it on this local system. Let's wait for it to finish. It will take too long. AutoTrain Advanced is installed and you ignore these red warnings. It's okay. Let's clear the screen. Sorry. Let's clear the screen. And now let's install PyTorch, Torch Vision. Torch audio and other PyTorch modules which we need. Just press Y here and it is going to install all of it on your local system and this might take a bit of a time. Look around two minutes. Let's also install CUDA and VCC. This should be fairly quick. Let's press Y here and that is done. Installation is almost done at this point. Next thing you need to do is to set your Hugging Face Right token in this environment. And let me show you how you can get that token. Go to huggingface.co website, sign up with your email, log in, and then on the top right, click on these three lines or your profile picture, click on settings. On the left hand side, click on access tokens, and then click on new token. Just maybe name it auto train, and then make it right generator token and you can grab that token from here it's all free you don't have to pay for anything and let's go to my terminal and then set this token over there just use the export command here and it is going to set it in your environment so all the installation and configuration is done in order to run the auto train on your local system so that you can access it in browser simply run this auto train app dash dash host 0.0.0 .0 or you can specify localhost and then port 8000. If you're accessing it remotely and if you, there is a firewall, make sure that you open the port 8000. Let me start it here by pressing enter. 
and this time you can see that it has started successfully and there is no further error and let's access it in our browser to see how it looks like i have started it in my access uh, in my browser and this is my browser and look how good it looks it is all running locally this is my hugging face username because i gave it my token this is the project name you can just give it any name you like and then this is the hardware i'm running it locally and then what sort of fine tuning you want to use sft or po generic dpo reward and then if you want to do other classification task or you want to do image one or you want to do any classification let's keep it at uh, sft and there you go you can just use a lot of model from hugging face and this list will be very dynamic and you can use any list you want so you see already there is llama 38 billion from unsloth my friend daniel Han, and then there are a lot of other like maxim lebones or Paul llama is there by three is there so let's do five three this time data set you can have your uh, you can select a hub data set or you can use upload your own data set so i already have a sample uh, mnist data set i'm going to upload it so let me quickly upload that data set so I, you see i just uploaded it it is a hub from hugging face and it should be like column mapping so whatever your columns are just map them here or because i already have the text column so i'm mapping it there and then these are some of the parameters as um how you want your training parameter to go so it you can have basic one with this or you can have full training with this but the full training is going to take a long time even the basic one but let me start the training and show you how it goes so let's start the training just click on start training and it is asking auto train is a paid offering and you will be charged for this action you can ignore this message if you're running auto train on local hardware so i am running it on local hardware if you're running it on hugging face then of course it is going to charge you for that and it is going to run for some time let me take you to local system and you can see that it is also going to put some of the logging here so that is how you start the training and you run with it and you see it's column mapping it's a key error so what this means is that in my data set there is no column like text and let me take you here too so you see it also says that i need to put the uh, text column in my data set which is which it couldn't found so i just uploaded a simple very simple data set and i will show you shortly what uh, that looks like and you can see that the job has been submitted and the job is running now let me quickly show you at the os level that previous error is from the other one but now you can see it is running let's go here and you can see the same logs from this let cross on the top right you can see that there is a logs one it is running let's cancel it and then you can see i have one gpu so you have one accelerator and because my data set just consists of three or four rows so it's very very quick so this is how um, you can train it and this is going to upload it to your hugging face if you want if you have put it on true if you you can also make it false if you like so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think i will drop the link to this in video's description and i will also post all the commands which i have used uh, in my blog and i will drop the link in video's description play around with it let me know how you go so very very simple all you need to do is to just this click and clack make sure your data set is good and it is going to uh, train your model on it you don't even have to worry about data set you can just go with here you can get your data set from uh, hugging face if you already have it just put the name of the data set with the repo here 50 50 just give it 50 50 you know train and valid split and make sure that these columns are there if your column names are different you can change them so that's it uh, i hope that you enjoyed it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching